When you start off on one of these little trips, you want a basic plan, and my plan was France, Italy, Spain. The trip was open-ended, I never had nothing booked to come home. And I'm not gonna go through all the campsites and tell you how great they were and all the places I stopped. I'm just gonna tell you what happened on the way, really. So I left Suffolk really early in the morning, about five o'clock, head off down the back roads, and got down to the Channel Tunnel, got over to France, and started on my way. I then started to warm up a little bit. I'm traveling super, super light, probably less than 15 kilos, camping as much as possible to keep the price down. And I didn't want it to be too heavy, so I couldn't pick it up. Um, if you're riding alone, you've got to be so careful. So anything which looked too wet, too muddy, too rutty, I would just miss it out, go around it. I've been doing this a long while now and I'm smart enough to know when not to do something. Although I did slip off once, just crossing ruts. You'll see that in a minute. I serviced the bike. I got new chain and sprockets, new brake pads. So there's minimizing the things that can go wrong. Oh, this is where I had to do a little detour to avoid a tree. So uh, back on the track. Oh yeah, that's where I fell off. Went to miss this muddy puddle. Just a graceful dismount. <laughs> Most of the campsites in France are pretty good. I'm probably a little bit early in the season. It's not school holidays yet, so there's not a lot of people about. I was pretty damn lucky with the weather though. Uh, I did have one stormy afternoon where I sat in a bus shelter for about an hour probably and it dried out and I was on my way again. And this was a nice little campsite, nice lake, nice bar, some food. Again, not many people about. You've got one or two, but not many. On this sort of tour, the thing what irritated me the most was in the evenings when you're, there's not many people around and you're on your own and you can't, I kind of get bored really. I wander about, don't know what to do. During the day though, the riding, I never think twice about being bored. In fact, um, I, I do go for quite a distance really. I don't go particularly fast, but I just keep going. I also start pretty early. You know, you have to get up to go to the toilet, so why not just pack up and go? That's when I got to Annecy, when I got here, lovely little site, again, not very busy, but that's when I learned about the snowfall. Look at that lot. A bit unusual for this time of year, so uh, change the plan, let's head to Spain. I stopped on this corner, had a spot of lunch, just as I was about to pull away, there was a load of guys on touring bikes came by. I thought, I'd better wait and just let them come by. Turned out they weren't the quickest. So I didn't really do any tech this day. I was a bit pissed off about the forts, not being able to do them. So I just went up over the mountains and headed towards Spain. I found a nice little campsite on a lake. Can't remember what it was called. I'm not the most confident with flying this drone, but I was impressed with what I'd done here. I shot across and took a shot of this, uh, these guys on this rib. They were waving away. It looks like an angel, doesn't it? If you want the right medication. So the, the terrain is getting much better. Rocks, mountains, no more arable land or not a lot. So that means the ruts have gone. We've got these nice hard tracks. I'm loving this. Yeah, it's really good. You probably noticed there's various items on the front of my bike. There's a cargo net with my t-shirts and boxer shorts drying out as a tent. Quite often a piece of French bread, some crisps, you name it. So yeah, there's a little rack on the front which uh, I use for storage. Nice little gorge here. Uh, later on I do gorge to Gallimus, excuse the pronunciation.
I was a bit annoyed with myself here. I didn't wipe the camera lens. But I did manage to put the drone up again rather gingerly. Yeah, it's uh, one of those come away from the edge moments. I'm not the greatest with heights. Uh, Mid-Pyrenees. I love the Pyrenees. I go here every year. And uh, one thing I did notice, this is the first year at Pignegre, or Black Mountain as they call it, 25 euro toll. I didn't bother going up because it looked like it was low cloud, so it could obscure the views. So from here I decided to pick up the Adventure Country tracks and head west and see what that's like but not before having a beer and staying in the hotel for the night. Treat myself. I rode with a couple of Spanish guys for a little while and uh, we parted our ways after day one. I think uh, they went to a hotel and I went to a campsite, so uh, never to be seen again. The next day, I caught up to a couple of guys from the UK, Noza and Nige. Yeah, they were good fun. We had quite a laugh, spent a couple of days with them. As time progressed though, we were getting closer to the west coast and I was starting to look for a ferry from Bilbao or Santander back to Blighty. But in the end, I couldn't find one for the right day uh, at the right price. So I decided just to compass bearing, head north and go through France on the back roads and uh, done it in a couple of days. About 400 mile days though, but um, yeah, the little CRF was brilliant. Sort of 50, 60 mile an hour all the way back. Yeah, at the time I was a bit pissed off about missing the high forts around Italy. Um, but maybe I can do it this year. 